dear friends welcome to infos welcome to oil and gas training <coughs> we have modified our name uh, just like infos by hamsa vibawa so uh, we will continue our uh, effort to bring uh, more and more knowledge for uh, oil and gas training so welcome to oil and gas training video session uh, we have studied in uh, last few videos uh, about uh, basic instrumentation and uh, control system so in this video also we are discussing about uh, basic instrumentation and control system this is a uh, part 6 uh, almost 6 uh, videos uh, we have published on basic instrumentation and control system this is the 20th video on oil and gas training hopefully most of you are watching my videos so links are here uh, giving in this video so you can watch one by one kindly request to all of you to subscribe and like uh, our uh, uh, channel so oil and gas training so from this time onwards we will change the channel name like infos by hamsa vibawa and uh, i am facing uh, like my face also coming to the part of this video so we will uh, regularly and continuously upgrading the quality of uh, video presentation so you can comment on that one uh, we expect your uh, valid comment to you for uh, better 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 and better improvements so in this uh, sixth uh, video session for basic instrumentation we are discussing about uh, process control <clears throat> we have studied about in previous videos uh, like uh, 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 measuring element or uh, primary element we studied about uh, uh, that is a level pressure uh flow and temperature how what is the definition where is the basic unit and uh, how we can measure from a operating uh, field or process plant how we can measure the process uh, variable so now in process control we are uh, going to discuss about uh, various uh, other uh, instruments or other sections or uh, what are the next step for a process control so welcome to this video process control so process control measurement system instruments are what are the basic definition or what are the why it is using what is the purpose of that one primary element to detect changes in process variable transmitter to communicate the changes indicator to display the current measurement recorder to keep a record for uh, measurement so mainly in process control these are the main variables like primary element that we have uh, discussed in our uh, previous uh, videos uh, if you have missed that videos uh, please go through and uh, subscribe and watch uh, what is primary element and uh, how to detect the changes in process variable like uh, uh, pressure temperature level and flow just to go through it and understand that one then only you can get that continuation or to understand or learn the process uh, instrumentation so the primary element once it is detected uh, the real process variable signal uh, like pressure temperature level and uh, temp uh, flow so it will transfer to transmitter transmitter is a instrument equipment which communicate the changes between two people from the primary element to next is uh, other controller or indicator or recorder or whatever it is so <clears throat> then indicator is there uh, sometime we want to see uh, we want to display it uh, for the information so indicator to display the current measurement uh, recorder we can to we have to keep a proper record to save in either in uh, physically or in uh, uh, soft uh, like uh, in uh, hard disk or something else to record for measurements for future references or review so this is the measurement system we will study of course we will study some more items in our uh, coming slides so these are the 
main equipment in a, a measurement system. So, we have studied uh, in process, what is a process? Heating, cooling, distillation, a pump is running, heat exchanger is working, Lo lot of uh, or various application we know that one is a process. So, from the process measuring means, what is measuring means is a primary element or we can call it as a sensor or PV input from the sensor that is the reading is coming to process variable input. Controller is there or uh, process controller is there is the uh, main uh, head of uh, a process uh, system. So, a controller, controller is uh, doing some job we will uh, discuss in detail in uh, coming slides. So, controller and receive the process variable input from measuring uh, means and controller is uh, taking a proper decision according to our programming in earlier according or our advice or process engineers advice and produce a manipulated variable that is MV that is as output and it will go to final control element mostly it is a control valve or some other means of uh, equipment it will uh, adjust the uh, energy uh, flow or uh, some other variables adjustment and uh, to maintain the process uh, safely and efficiently. So, this is the simple process control uh, loop or a simple explanation of that one. Remember that one please note down in your book process variable and manipulated variable. Process variable is a input and uh, MV is output. So, transmitter. Transmitter is this uh, convert a process physical quantity such as level, pressure, flow or temperature into a representative pneumatic or electrical signal usually 3 to 15 psi that is uh, 4 to 20 milliamps which is then transmitted to a centrally located control room. In uh, uh, right side it is a flow transmitter is showing inside it is a pipe is connected and transmitter is directly connected to a flow, a flow measuring device. So, inside this pipe there is a flow sensor is there or flow primary element is there and here it is uh, the transmitter is connected. So, what is it written? This convert a physical a process physical quantity such as uh, here it is flow and, uh, and into a representative a pneumatic or electronic signal. So, that is, uh, so then only we can, uh, we will convert into a representative signal either pneumatic or electronic, then only we can transfer to uh, some distance because our control room is uh, situated maybe uh, away from 1 to 1 or 2 kilometer away. So, we have to transfer in that area, we have to convert into a standard form equivalent to that physical quantity. So, this is the symbol a picture of a flow transmitter. So, once it is re receiving in a central control room in any form of pneumatic or electronic, the value is uh, in a range is uh, 3 to 15 psi or uh, 4 to 20 milliamps. So, controller is a device which keeps the process variable at a constant value by comparing the measurement signal with the set of uh, set point for the variable. It produces an output signal as a function of the input signal. So, controller is a, uh, a picture is there, it is receiving a signal from the transmitter that is located in the field in a suitable form of a pneumatic or electronic signal and it will compare with a set point. Set point is uh, we are deciding for the safety of the process, the smooth running of the process, uh, that, that uh, the receiving signal compare with a set point and maybe it may be higher than the set point or lower than the set point. So, it will adjust according to meet the set point equal to the set point. So, SP minus PV equal to 0, should it will correct according to that SP and PV equal to 0. Then it produces an output signal for SP minus PV is equal to 0. It produces an output signal as a function of the input signal. Then that signal is uh, 
transferring to, sending to uh, another component that is in the field. That is uh, called a transducer. The electronic controller or pneumatic controller is uh, uh, creating or uh, producing an output signal of uh, uh, 4 to 20 milliamps. That is electronic signal. So, that signal to convert into a pneumatic signal to 3 to 15 psi. So, that one uh, for that we are using a transducer or uh, it is called a converter. In the red side it is a, a simple uh, photo picture is showing that one is a converter. So, one side it is a receiving uh, an electronic signal from the controller from the control room and it is producing that is the equivalent a pneumatic signal. That signal is going to final control element. So, final control element a device mostly a control valve which receives a signal from the controller to adjust position of the valve element to regulate the flow of energy or material in a process. So, the control valve picture is there. We will study this uh, each uh, instrumentation equipment in detail in coming slides. So, just to you have to uh, when you are going to next time go to the plant you just to go to see that one uh, this uh, transmitter how it is a transmitter various type of transmitter just to understand that one and uh, just to see the transducer or uh, control valve various type of control valve and uh, the instrumentation signal coming from the controller to transducer and uh, transducer to final control element just to see that one that should trace that line and uh, what are the other any other equipments are involved in this uh, uh, control loop just to see that one to get more uh, familiarization and uh, process control again we are uh, discussing some more uh, definition process control refers to the method that are used to control process variables when manufacturing a product for example factors uh, such as the proportion of one ingredient to another the temperature of the materials, how well the ingredients are mixed and the pressure under which the material are held can significantly impact uh, the quality of uh, an end product. We will get more understanding on this one in coming slide. Uh, manufacturers uh, control the production process for three reasons. In any process we have to maintain these three reasons for uh, reduce the variability we have to maintain the, we have to bring down the variable to minimum or upset to the minimum to bring a smooth and a efficient operation or safe operation. So, increase the efficiency of the operation, what are the output is there. So, and uh, to avoid or minimize the fluctuation up to a minimum level and by the doing that way it will increase the efficiency and ensure the safety. Safety is very important in operating a hydrocarbon plant. So, it is hazardous, flammable or lot of other issues are there. So, we have to maintain all parameter with reduce variability to minimum and increase the efficiency and ensure the safety. So, just to look at the uh, right side figure, it is a simple example of a flow controller. Uh, a centrifugal pump is there, suction line is there, discharge line is there. In the flow rate we are using a, a flow sensing device and a transmitter. It is going to a uh, controller. It is a simple controller uh, representation and that is called uh, here it is at, uh, giving the name is a PID controller, PID flow controller. So, whenever the flow is decreasing or increasing we can increase the increase or decrease the motor speed or according to that the connected pump speed we can control here that is a logic here and in the remote monitoring we can download or we can save or we can display the values here and in the controller output also we can display the values. So, this is a simple example uh, taking from the Google and uh, it is uh, uh, showing a, a uh, controller function how the and loop function also we will get more information on in the coming uh, slides. Uh, I already, already I have uh, 
discuss that one as a set point. Set point is the required value of the process. Uh, we will understand it in zoom and the process variable. Process variable is the parameter like flow, level, pressure, temperature, speed, etc. Sometimes pH also. Many others are there. We will understand it later. That we measure from a process. The process variable is measuring from the process using a, a sensing device or called it is a primary element. And uh, uh, look at that uh, this picture. It is uh, uh, set point is there. That is the SP is a set point, and the PV is the uh, process variable. And this is the pipeline is there. Inside it is a valve is there, and in the right side there is a orifice plate is connected. We we have studied that orifice plate. What is orifice plate? Orifice plate is a flow measuring element, or we can call the flow sensor. Just above that one is a flow transmitter is there. We studied that one transmitter, transmitter, transmitter receiving signal from the flow flow sensing device from orifice plate here, and it is converting into a equivalent unit. Either it is a pneumatic or electronic. Here it is showing that the signal representation by engineering drawing it is a electronic signal, 4 to 20 milliamps, that is coming from the transmitter. And that is coming as a process variable. So each second, each minute, each hour, the exact what is the flow from this side, it is coming. What is the flow here? Now at present, what is the flow here? It is coming to the controller. This is called a controller a representation using the drawing. It is called FIC if it is a flow indicator controller. Sometimes it is written flow controller only, but this particular controller, you can see the flow what is the value, current value also we can see, that is why it is using the word indicator, flow, flow is the process variable name, what is the variable, flow, i is the indicator uh, and function, second is the another function, controller, so flow indicator controller is the controller here, so you can see it and you can control it, so the flow each time uh, present or current reading of flow is coming as a process variable and uh, the control engineer is already fixed for the set point uh, in, uh, in terms of a percentage or a value according to the situation and uh, PV always uh, try to adjust, PV always try to adjust uh, equal to PV should be equal to SP, PV minus SP should be 0. If, if the PV is higher than the set point, say example is uh, uh, or uh, 50 percentage in per, if, if it is in percentage or in uh, you can say flow is uh, liter per hour say 10, 10 liter per hour or uh, any other unit kg per hour or uh, uh, any uh, BPD barrel per uh, day or any other suitable unit you can use. If it is a we can take a simple example of uh, 10 liter per hour. So, in that case, uh, the reading is 8, so the PV is uh, lower than the set point, then we need to some adjustment. In case of 11 or 12 uh, liter per hour or PV is above uh, greater than SP, so in that case also we have to adjust. How we will adjust? We will compare with the PV, SP or PV, compare with each other PV to SP and make it 0. How? PV minus SP equal to 0. Then what, what the requirement, what is the current or what is the required adjustment we will make in the output, output we will make. So output we will make and send to the control, uh, control valve using the transducer to giving an instructions to control valve open more or close more to maintain the flow equal to SP, equal to SP. So what they do, the output is a signal that is an instruction giving from the out, uh, controller to control valve, giving that instruction to open more or close more the valve to maintain the process value equal to SP. That is here set point. Set point is a desired value of a process parameter set by the operator to control a process. Output is a normally called the output signal from a controller. Deviation. What is deviation? Deviation is the 
uh, SP minus uh, PV output uh, difference that is a deviation also called offset. Offset is the difference between PV minus SP, PV and SP. If the deviation is more the controller output will change fast. Our aim or the purpose of process design is PV should be equal to SP, should be equal but never it will, it will fluctuate slightly, it is a process variable moving, the variable is always changing. So, PV always will either below SP or uh, above SP slightly will adjust. So, according to that one the output will always change. So, controlled variable is the process variable, we control is the pro controlled variable, flow is the controlled variable in this case. You just to look at to the output how it is moving, now PV is equal to SP output is in the center, there is no much say change that means PV minus SP is equal to 0, output equal to 0, no change in the flow, no, 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 no change in the valve opening, valve no need to adjust up and down. So, just to look at to the now what is happening, so the PV is equal to changed to more than SP, so the flow rate is, the current flow rate is above to the above compared to the SP set point. So, then we have to adjust uh, output according to that it bring to equal. So, we will open or close little the according to the situation the control valve to bring the PV equal to SP that is the control process. So, we have studied about uh, uh, primary element and transmitter transmitter producing an output of PV that is a process variable and is a controller here FIC uh, then uh, SP uh, that is set point then uh, that is uh, another is a uh, output, output is the uh, produced signal and controlled variable final control element these are the new information we got uh, today from this video. Let us see uh, what are the other information is there. A manipulated variable. The variable we adjust to control another variable exam, example, uh, example controlling the flow of hot oil through a reboiler to control the temperature of the gas passing through it. Here the controlled variable is temperature and a manipulated variable is uh, flow of hot oil. In the earlier session the controlled variable is flow and manipulated variable is also output and that is also flow. But in this one how what is the difference between hot oil uh, just to uh, review the picture here is a, this yellow color is a example of a heat exchanger. So, in the heat exchanger uh, hot oil is coming hot oil is coming or, or cold oil is coming entering to that one and hot oil is going out. So, how our purpose is to heat the oil inside the heat exchanger for that one we are uh, injecting a gas inlet, gas inlet and that gas inlet is uh, firing inside. So, that gas is uh, firing inside or it is hot gas and uh, equally contact with uh, hot oil, contact with the shell and tube or uh, not physical contact and uh, heat is exchanging to the oil and oil become uh, hot and uh, gas become uh, temperature is coming down and it is going out. So, our uh, prime aim the design of this process is to control the temperature of water oil or increase the temperature at a, a desired level. So, uh, we have uh, earlier the how the control loop is coming we know that one temperature element that is a sensor that is may be bimetallic or thermocoupled or earlier we studied whatever the any type of suitable temperature element or RTD resistant temperature detector or filled system tube or whatever it is. Then uh, a suitable RT uh, T, uh, TT is the temperature transmitter, uh, transmitter is a receiving signal from the, the from the sensor and converting into a suitable format uh, pneumatic or uh, electronic or electric. Uh, 3 to 15 psi to 4 to 20 milliamps and it is uh, connected to a TC, this is a temperature controller here. In the temperature controller RT uh, TT signal is uh, receiving as a PV that is a process variable and the TC already have fixed 
recorded over a fixed uh, and SP that is a set point and the set point the PV set point and PV comparing uh, by controller and producing an output to what is the difference between uh, SP minus PV our ultimate aim is equal to SP minus PV equal to 0 and the output is producing that output is going to uh, a final control element which is uh, temperature controlled valve here TCV that the TCV is uh, opening or closing adjusting to maintain the hot oil flow hot oil inlet flow actually it is not hot oil it is an oil inlet uh, oil inlet normal oil inlet or cold oil you can say cold oil inlet to maintain the flow according to the gas flow uh, to maintain the temperature according to the uh, SP set point. Uh, this is the process here uh, remember that one temperature sensor uh, is uh, connected temperature sensor is in the hot oil side and uh, here manipulated variable is uh, temperature and uh, <coughs> sorry controlled variable is uh, temperature and the manipulated variable is uh, flow of oil that is the uh, maintaining by using here two variable we are controlling temperature we are sensing that is a controlled variable of that hot oil and before that one we are maintaining the hot oil flow if the temperature is uh, uh, lower than the set point what uh, what action we will take we will uh, reduce the hot oil flow or uh, cold oil flow inside the to the heat exchanger and uh, if the temperature is higher than the set point, uh, we will uh, increase more oil flow to bring down the oil temperature equivalent to equal to uh, SP. So, that is the uh, controlled variable and the manipulated variable. Uh, open loop another information, open loop is called a manual system. You can uh, review the uh, this uh, 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 feature a uh, cold water in or uh, uh, cold water is in a water heater a burner is there so it is a heated water uh, so what is the temperature is here is a indicator is there and a operator is standing looking the temperature and gas supply pipeline that is the burner is heater uh, uh, giving the temperature of this uh, water heater is a gas supply is a manual hand operator control one. So, here uh, nothing is uh, automatically controlled, the process variable is a temperature control, the indicator is a thermometer. So, the correcting unit is the gas control valve. the controller is a, the operator who uses his own judgment to keep the water temperature constant. So, here this is the way open loop, so uh, a operator standby and the operator is looking to the indicator and same time if the temperature is higher he will close the gas supply line gas supply valve if the temperature is low then he will uh, adjust the gas supply uh, open little more and uh, increase the uh, firing increase more firing to increase the temperature so an operator is standby and doing lot of difficulties are there for this type of uh, system open loop is a older type of uh, control system uh, still it is using uh, some uh, uh, unimportant areas but uh, all important areas it is difficult to control the process uh, properly so open loop in open loop how it is working so open loop there is a valve is there in open loop control the control of the process variable is uh, not done automatically there is no automatic feedback from the controller to the process or from process to controller only we can monitor the process variable and do the control manually. So, here it is everything should be manually indicator recorder we can see the temperature or we can see the process variable value, but uh, if it is uh, more than set point we have to adjust if it is lower than the set point we have to adjust. So, what happened in closed control loop another type of control loop closed control loop you remember in the previous uh, example there is a there is an uh, operator was there in this picture we have removed that operator we put an electronic or pneumatic controller rest of the things are same everything is same. So, the output from the process sensor is converted by the transmitter and is feedback hence the name is feedback control to the control 
be added algebraically or mechanically to the set point. If there is an error, the signal to the controller causes it to take action to the change out actual output to reduce the error to zero. So, the controller is comparing with the set point and the process variable value. The process variable value, current value is coming from the temperature transmitter and controller set point we have already decided. So, it will compare and the output is sending to the control valve to maintain the gas supply to maintain the water heater, water temperature on a desired value. So, automatical control loop we can explain it. Gas flows through this pipeline. You have to control gas flow steadily at a constant flow rate. How does you get the control? What are the application? How you will do? Automatically, one is orifice plate is a flow sensor, then is a flow transmitter, then third is a, the process variable is a, coming from the output as a transmitter and the controller is there, controller is a, a temperature controller or sorry flow controller here. So, it will compare and fourth one is a control valve. So, it is automatically controlling primary element, transmitter, controller and final control element. So, this all include 1, 2, 3, 4. So, when you are going to the plant, you just to see that one, 1, 2, 3, 4, how it is working. So, then you will get more, more idea on this uh, process automatic control loop. So, working of a control loop, primary element senses the process parameter fluctuations and supply the signal to the transmitter. The transmitter send the signal to the controller normally in the form of current, 4 to 20 milliamps. Controller compare the desired set point and actual value and readjust the output as per deviation. The output from the controller also will be current 4 to 20 milliamps and the current is converted to equivalent pneumatic output using I2P converter, uh, current to pneumatic converter transducer. The signal sent to the final control element for final adjustment of the process parameter. Feedback from FT again, feed it to flow transmitter, again feed it to controller and cycle repeated. These are the process just to read and understand and note in your notebook. So, you will get a, a clear picture of a control loop working. Automatic control loop, measuring element, transmitter, controller, final control. These four we have studied already. One more item we are added here, fifth one, PY, that is a converter, transducer convert electrical signal to pneumatic signal. This also added in case of the, in case the controller is a electronic controller, in that case. If the controller is a pneumatic controller, no need a transducer in place. But if the controller is a new, uh, 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 electronic controller, we have to add a transducer because why the uh, control valve, final control element is a pneumatic uh, signal is using. So, always it is a pressure pressurized air is using to lift the uh, opening element of the control valve. So, we have to use a transducer or converter. It will convert electric signal to pneumatic signal. So, uh, some examples of uh, another uh, process variable, uh, uh, usual uh, terms, uh, terminology using in uh, um, drawing sheet or in the uh, process field. Uh, process variable is a PE, that is pressure, level, temperature and flow, PE, LE, TE and FE. Transmitter, PT, LT, TT and FT. Controller, PAC, FIC, TIC, LIC. Converter, LY, TY, PY, FY. Final control element, FCV, that is flow control valve, TCV, temperature control valve, LCV, level control valve, PCV, pressure control valve. Please uh, review uh, the existing uh, P and ID you have or I will show in next class uh, how, uh, how to read a P and ID that class is coming. So, you can read and understand from the engineering drawing or uh, piping and instrumentation diagram how to understand these terminologies. And uh, when you go to the field, you just to see any controller, transmitter, converter and sensor and control valve. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel for uh, timely updates and information. We have started online uh, training uh, advanced modules uh, or nominal payment. Please contact me, Hamsa Bhava, and uh, my number is there and my email ID is there. Please write your comment uh, this one. Thank you for watching this uh, video.
I am signing off uh, from this video and uh, definitely we will come back with uh, another, con another uh, information, another video for, uh, for uh, process uh, control uh, advanced level uh, soon. Thank you for watching.